I just hopped out uh, of the sales training that we do. We do every single Monday in my office and I had my salespeople in there. We're doing what's called a hot seat type of training where we're gonna call one of the newer salespeople in the office up to the seat and we're going through this exercise of, you know, hey, I'm in a house, close me. I'm a buyer who wants to buy, close me for the sale. Now, one of the things that we started to uncover is some of the salespeople are actually showing buyers they shouldn't be showing. And I, I went through this process with the salespeople. I said, listen, you guys are gonna be handed a tremendous amount of leads. Like, especially, you know, you're here in my office, we have nothing but an overflow of leads. And even, you know, even the coaching students I work with, you know, the most common issue is, hey, we've got too many leads. How do we figure out who to work with first? And this is what I started to break down for the salespeople, because you know what? I'm actually just going to give the real life experience we went through. So agent is up there in the hot seat training. You know, the first question I asked him is how many leads do you have? And he gave me the number. He goes like, right now, I'm actively working with X amount of leads. Okay, great. How do you know which one to show first? Um, you know, the, the, he didn't really have an answer. He goes, you know, the, the ones that are probably the hottest. Okay, how do you know who those are? So salespeople, especially in the real estate industry, have a tendency of trying to convince every person that they get on the phone with to buy or sell real estate with them. They have a tendency of trying to convince every single buyer they show a house to, every single seller they meet with, to buy or sell with them, rather than doing what professionals do. Professionals, they sort. They sift the leads, they sift the appointments, and they sort who's going to be a transaction today and who's not. You know, you guys got to think about it like this. Best salespeople on my floor, if I gave them 100 leads, first thing they would do is sift and sort through them to figure out who's going to buy now and who's not. They're going to find the five to seven who are going to buy. They're going to be focused on the five to seven rather than the 93. They're just going to be going through and getting rid of the 93, you know, to 95. And they're going to focus on the five to seven or eight who are going to buy right now. And that's what you guys got to do. If you're generating lead flow or being given lead flow, and you're, you're going through and you're just getting new leads and you're, you're like hooked up to the, to the drug of like new lead flow each and every day. And every time you get on the phone with a buyer or seller, you're tr going, trying to go, okay, I've got to convince this person to meet with me. I've got to convince this person to get a listing appointment. I got to convince this person to, you know, get a buyer consultation, whatever it may be. That's the opposite approach that you want to take. You want to sort them. You're asking them questions over the phone to figure out, is this someone I want to meet with or not? And when you're out showing them houses, you know, especially the first time you take a buyer out to show home, you're trying to figure out, is this someone I want to work with or not? You guys, you got to sort and you got to sort fast. The faster you sort the lead flow, the faster you sort the prospects to figure out who's closest to the bottom dollar. So that's where you're consistently working closest to the bottom dollar. You guys are going to make a lot more sales. You're going to be happier. You're going to have more free time and you're going to make more money. Just remember this amateurs, they convince. Amateurs are trying to convince every single person they talk to and meet with to buy or sell with them. But professionals, they sort. They sort because professionals know this is truly a numbers game. I've gotten all the training that uh, I, I'm needing right now. I know how to convert a lead, you know, lead to a face-to-face -face appointment. I know how to do the buyer seller or the buyer seller presentation. I, I know I have the sales techniques. I have these things. Now it's my time not to try and convince everyone to do business with me, but to convince the five to seven percent that will become sales. I just really want to get good at the five to seven percent rather than focus on the 93 who won't buy. Amateurs convince, professionals sort. So become a professional and get really good at sorting your business.